Okay, today we are going to be making an Andy Warhol painting. We're going to be going over the ruler menu, we're going to be going over the color balance menu, the curves menu, and the hue saturation menu. So, first and foremost, we go to File New. We're going to make a document that's 8.5 by 11. That's done in Photoshop CS6 by going to um, the, the settings in, in a new document. You can go to Letter, and it pre templates 8.5 by 11. And it sets it up, uh, you know, at resolution 300 DPI, which is a good res resolution for um, quality. So there it is. The rulers. You're going to want to hit Control R, so you can see the rulers here, which uh, are very clearly visible up here and along the uh, the perimeter of the document on the left and top sides. So I want to import a image of a uh, celebrity, and you know Andy Warhol would like make fun of popular culture and things of that nature. So I like Jack Black. I think he's got a really uh, a light spin on everything, and he's really relevant today. So I'm going to copy him, copy image, go into Photoshop, and paste it in. So there's Jack Black. Now I want to divide it up into quadrants. So this is an eight and a half by eleven inch document. So here's your move tool. We're going to take Jack Black, and we're going to put him on the top left side, and he is going to be, we're going to go to Control T, or you can go to Edit Free Transform, which is Control T, and we're going to go to half of eight and a half is four and a quarter, which is right here, and half of eleven is five and a half. So there it is. So that's five and a half. Now we'll click the Move tool and apply. Now, I'm going to duplicate this layer. So I'm going to drag layer one down and I've got two layers of it. I'm just going to take Jack Black and move him over to the left and now I've got two of him over here. Okay? And if I don't want this line right here, I can move it or I could also keep Jack Black here and I can hit control T and I can flip him and make him the opposite way if you want. It's it's entirely up to you. You can use your own creative license to see whichever set way you like it best. Click your move tool and apply and there you have him. Make him up a bit more. Oh, down. There you go. So there's Jack Black. Let me just go to Edit, Free Transform, a little bit bigger on the wider end. And it's okay if it's not perfect. Move tool and apply. There you have him. Now, I am going to, he's a little bit bigger on the right, so I'll just take him. The better you do this, the better it's going to look uh, as far as symmetry. So move him a little bit wider on that side too. And that is, that's fine. Move tool and apply. He's looking good. All right, let me just, uh-huh, good. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That could work, but I'm going to keep it flush. All right, now I'm going to duplicate another layer, and we want it on the bottom. So I'm just going to drag him to the bottom now. And now he's on the bottom side. And we'll take the other one, move him a little bit more to the right, right? And take the other side, which is here. You can tell by the thumbnail of where he is, and drag him to the bottom as well. And now you're going to drag him down also. Over, up, and over a bit here. A um, buddy of mine told me that Jack Black actually went to Juilliard, and he's a really smart guy besides being funny, so I like Jack Black, and I respect for him. Now, with that being said, because that was relevant, um, I'm going to take this away. This is fine. These are looking good. I like naming my layers, so I'm going to double-click this one, and I'm going to go to the bottom right. This one is top right. This one is bottom left, and this one will be uh, top left. All right, now on the top left, I'm going to start with this one. First menu we're going to go into is the color balance menu. That's Control B. I am going to move it to. I want it to be a complementary color scheme with uh, Andy Warhol style. So it's going to be like a warm and cool colors, you know, juxtaposed next to each other, all right? So I'm going to move this to the right, to the red. The highlights will go to red. And I'll go to shadows over to red. Now he's coming kind of red. So, I'll, okay, you can also repeat that. Go to Control-B, and you can go to maybe the highlights and make them even more red if you needed to. It's entirely up to you. Every image is different. So with this image, this is how um, these, this menu applies to it, all right? With that said, I'm going to go to the Hue Saturation menu. That's control you. That's a hot key. With the hue saturation, all you have to do is just move it till it becomes as red as you like. And later, remember what I'm about to say? I'm going to show you a shortcut and you're going to hate me. 
because it makes this process a lot easier but I want to show you everything first so I'm on a blue, I want it red relatively red is there that's fine I'm alright with that now I'm gonna go to the curves menu and that's control M curves is really cool because it like bends bends light bends the pixels and watch it actually you gotta play with the curves and you can drag it up as well and now it's starting to become like a a really kind of a different image it's not the same as uh, the regular no, that's too much that is not bad this is very angry alright so we'll load out a bit there you have them alright so that one's okay I'm alright with that now I'm gonna hit control B again I'll move the red over a bit more so it's more red but that's too much you're losing the integrity of the contour lines you don't want to do that so we'll move it a little bit more with the highlights no it's no good I'm alright with Jack Black just like this as far as my first now what you're gonna do to make life really simple is you're gonna do the same thing to the right side which is this one top right so we went once again control B I moved it over the blue and you can do it this way and repeat the process shadows midtones and highlights and make him very blue I'll hit control U I'll go to the hue saturation and get him as blue as I can that's green could work too it's the complementary color but I don't want it to look exactly like Christmas so um, it's a different it's a different theme so there you go alright now we'll go to the curves control M bring that curve up and you can bring it down and get them very different alright so they have and I like the middle as well and the middle will give you something a little bit different uh, you're losing them let's get them right about there that's fine hit OK now control B and let's get them back to being more blue and go to your highlights bring them more blue there he is he's coming blue now so there you have them so you have red blue and you can do the same for your greens on this one I will do a green so I'll hit control B go to green oops sorry that's this one control B and I will go to green highlights green shadows over to green really simple control U get the green where is that green there he is the Hulk well it's funny uh, there he is okay and now we'll go to the curves you know we'll control B him again because green it actually uh, doesn't go as green as it could that's fine no, not too much okay control M curve it play with your curves bring it up bring it down cool and bring his face up lighten that there he is his face is light and it looks similar to this one and that one's actually looking really good and we'll do the last one and this one will be uh, red blue green and we'll put a warm color in the middle of here for yellow so we'll hit control B again as I said highlights yellow midtones yellow and we'll go to shadows yellow we'll hit OK control U play with the hue there he is that's fine now after that we're gonna hit control M after we do that bring up this curve down that's looking good and we'll bring this one up and now you have it it's too much yellow is a little bit different than these so it gives you a different effect alright now the reason I showed you how all four all four colors plan out on all four images is because it's really a subjective opinion if you want to have it different on all time on all so on each image will be a little bit different now I'm gonna show you a little trick I'm gonna delete you could save it like this and call it a day but I'm gonna delete this image the bottom oh, whoopsie control Z I'm gonna delete the bottom right image I'm gonna delete the top right image and I'm gonna delete the bottom left image and now watch I'm gonna duplicate this top right image I'm gonna hit control T I'm gonna flip them over and I'll show you the method to my madness in a second move tool and apply I'll move it over just a bit there he is I'm gonna duplicate the top left 
and I'm going to move it on down. There it is. I love it. Uh, up a little bit. Cool. Oh, there it is. Uh, yep. And now I'm going to take the top right. Where are you? Oh, yeah. It's this one. I didn't name my layers again. I am going to name them because it's very important to do so. Bring it on down. Now watch this. Here's what I mean by the shortcut that people get angry about. I've been doing this unit for like 10 years and I finally put it up uh, for people to view it so I want to I want to show you guys a lot of good tricks with it so on this one I'm gonna put bottom bottom right you gotta organize your layers I don't care if you can see a thumbnail it's very important top right and this one will be bottom left and this one will be top left which it stays now watch here's here's where people get angry on wait wait a minute oh okay alrighty so on the top right I'm just gonna hit control U and watch you can just change this one to the blue and that's it then on this one you can hit control U and you could simply change this one to the green and then that's okay and then on the bottom left why do I not see it oh bottom right pardon me bottom right control U and this one will be yellow so we'll move the hue to yellow and there you have it so though that's just a simpler way to do it by du making one duplicating it and changing the hue saturation it's as easy as that okay so choose whichever method you like and I went into the menus in depth because you got four lessons that repeat everything that you need to know to do one and you can just clone it and make your own image have fun with it and thank you so much